Welcome back to the Heber House. Today, I do have a video that is about a planner. I actually am creating a, another channel for all things planner related, but I thought this was kind of a crossover because this is how I stay organized during the holidays. And I've actually had several people, like more than two people, ask me how I keep it all together in the holidays. And so I wanted to show you guys this on my regular channel too, because I think it's just, um, it's really fun and it is just a fun way to be able to stay on top of everything with the holidays. So this is my Christmas planner. Yes, I do have a planner just for Christmas. And the reason why I have this is because so much goes into planning Christmas, buying gifts, decorating, meals, everything, that I think it's important to have a place for it all. So that's what this is. I'm going to walk you through it and to show you how I use my Christmas planner. And um, let's get started. So first of all, this is a gold Carpe Diem planner and it is from Hobby Lobby. And this is the planner that I use for my Christmas planner. Inside here, I have, this is our, the front of it. I have these, these are pretty much just for decorate. This is just for decoration. I love anything red vehicle Christmas tree on top. So I chose that. And then in here, I just have some extra stickers that if I wanna use them while I'm planning. I have some paper clips that I made. This one says, can you, let me see if I can get it to focus. Maybe, maybe not. There you go. This one says joy to the world. And then I also made one with this car. So I thought those would be pretty in the front. And I also can use this to put receipts in. I did make this washi card out of a um, present tag from the dollar spot last year. And I just put washi on top of it and put samples of the washi that I use in the binder so that they're easily accessible if I need them. And then last, I have this little to-do list um, pad, and it is just a sticky pad, and this came from the Target Dollar Spot last year. So that is in there. First is my dashboard. All of these sticker, all of pretty much everything in here came from Hobby Lobby, but this is just a sticker that says Merry Christmas, and I thought it was really pretty. I made all of the dividers in here, and I got the idea from Nikki Plus 3 and Cardboard Couture. They did this back in July, which is actually when I made mine. And I just love the idea of go ahead and having it so you could start planning as early as possible because the holidays are so busy for us. So the first tab I made is one for my calendar. And I just cut these on my silhouette and then decorated the tab. Inside I do have a little pocket if I need to put anything. And then I made these calendars for um, my book. And so I just kind of made these myself. All of the inserts in here I just um, designed myself in Adobe Illustrator. So that is where they are. I might be able to make events at printables if that's something you're interested in. Leave me a comment down below if you are interested in these as printables. And I can maybe make them into printables that you can print for your Christmas planner. So I just have all of this for November. And then I'm not gonna show you what's in these because these are kind of personal. Um, but I have one for December and then I haven't really used December yet. So I have these um, weekly. So this is where I'm actually doing a lot of my planning now just so that I don't have a thousand planners going at one time. So I'll come in here and use these as my planners weekly. And then I also have these stickers here. Bring it up and see if you can see it a little better. And they are just countdowns to Christmas stickers that I thought were precious. So I put those in the daily tabs. So the next divider is this divider I made with a little sleigh and it says tree farm. And this is my to-do tab. And I just have um, weekly to-dos. So like I'll use this just during that week. Things I need to buy, things I need to order, if I'm ordering a present or food, and then our, my running to-do list. This helps me just stay on track of the things that I need to do. And I wanna take the time right now to apologize for my nails. I just have not had time to do them. And I slammed my thumb in a car door back a couple weeks ago and it is still healing. So that is what that is. Don't think that I'm weird or have some kind of like, weird thumb disease. <laughs> 
Okay, this is the next divider, and this is actually probably my favorite divider. And I just use washi tape across the top, and it says, the most treasured heirlooms are the traditions we pass down to our children. I can make this into a printable too, if you're interested, just leave me a comment down below. And in here, I have a running track of all of our traditions. So here are all the traditions that we do. The ones I just have written down right now are pajamas, ornaments, I always buy every member of our family an ornament each year going to see Christmas lights and travel ornaments. So those are our traditions and then I'll write down the dates we do them. So the next tab is a ornaments for mom uh, piece of paper. And I just did this so I could write down each year what year I got them which ornament. And so that way you can keep a track of it. Cause I think it'll be fun just to look back. And sometimes I forget to write the dates on them. So as I'm putting on the tree, I say, oh, this was the one I got them last year. I need to make sure I write the date on it. So that's that. The next thing is about our traditions, and this just has traditions, and I write a little bit, bit about it, and I really feel like it's fun because when, and I, this sounds morbid, I know, but I'm a historic, historical person, I love history, so when I am gone to meet Jesus, if my family ever wanted to look at this and say, hey, why do we have this tradition, or why was it started in our family? They will have record of that and I just think it's important for us to pass down those stories and things like that to our family. So and I hope that's not too like morbid but that's why I have that. The next one is budget. I do have my little birchy boo here. Dachshunds are always everywhere. If you wonder why you see dachshunds a lot on my video and in my decor and things is we have a four year, almost four year old or four year old dachshund named Birch who pretty much runs the house. He's the baby, he is the king of the household. So he is in a lot of our decor and everything. So I have him and then I have just like some candy canes and this is my budget tab. And how I broke this down is I have, oh, I do have this pocket to put receipts in. Um, and what I broke this down was a Thanksgiving budget and then a Christmas budget. And so I just wrote things down that I know that we spend money on on those and so I can write the budget and then what I actually spent on it. So this is a gift tab and I'm actually gonna go to the next person because I don't want Bobby to see his because I know he watches my videos. So, hey bud, but I don't want you to know what you're getting for Christmas. So here is a gift budget for Kevin and then I'll just write down the things that he wants for Christmas and how much they are so that I can budget how much we're gonna spend on them. The next section under our budget tab, our family budget. So I have one for Kevin's family and everyone that we have to buy gifts from. And then I have one for my family, which obviously is a lot larger. Next, I have an expense log so I can just write down what I have already bought and how much it is. And I have several of those. All right, the next thing is my decorations tab. And I just made this with just some cutouts from uh, my silhouette. I just love this. Another little pocket. And then I have a to-do decorations. I actually have these filled out. I just didn't want to show you guys all filled out ones. But I have to-do decorations. And this is for every room in the house that I decorate. Maybe a little excessive, but I really enjoy checking things off a to-do list. And I like to make sure that I do them properly so that it's easy next year. So... I have that. And then the next one are decorations to buy. So things that I may wanna buy, I can write it here and where, um, what store it may be at and if I was able to find it. All right, so the next tab is gifts and cards. So I have my Christmas card here, list here. Um, this is actually the blank one. I do have my Christmas card already. Um, my Christmas card list already written out and if you want to get a Christmas card for me, and I know you personally, <laughs> let me know because I love sending Christmas cards out and I love getting Christmas cards. It's probably like my favorite thing ever. So let me know. We can send you a Christmas card. All right. Then, oh, and I wanted to, um, I can't believe I took these out, but the reason why there is a divider here is because I have a list of, well, that's got to cover that up, but I have a gift list for every person in our family and they actually have them right now because they're writing out their Christmas list. But that will go right here. All right, and so the last tab is baking and food. And what I have here is I just have some paper for me to write recipes down 
for um, our family of recipes that we use during um, the holiday season that we may want to pass down from generation to generation that is in here and then last but not least I have this little notepad that is kind of like a Christmas plaid print and I think I got this in, in like a panda box or a planner attic box last year and that is just back there for notes so that is my Christmas planner it just helps me stay on top and I know some people go oh my gosh that's so excessive and it's so unnecessary but you don't know me and this is my hobby and this is what I love to do and it helps me kind of keep my anxiety in check during the holidays because sometimes it can get pretty out of control pretty quickly so got to stay on top of that hope y'all enjoyed this video like I said, I am working on a planning only YouTube channel that will be called Hebert House Plans. I'm hoping to have that up within the next couple of weeks that'll just be planner related so that people who are interested in my planning can go there instead of having it mixed in with the household items. So I will let y'all know when that is up. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and make sure that you like the video. Y'all have a great day. God bless.